Welcome back to Electrician for You. Today I've got a tool review for you. Um, so I've got two different circuit breaker finders here and we're going to compare them uh, to one another and see which does a better job at locating uh, the circuit breaker and uh, if they've got any other uses besides their main intended purpose which is of course to locate the circuit. So first up we've got the Klein and that is a ET300 and it's AU which is the Australian and New Zealand model but um, they do these also to suit different markets that we code at the end will just be US or um, whatever. So it's got a good silicon cover which means you can you can drop it and it's not going to break um, which is a big bonus when you're an electrician um, things get thrown around and next up we've got the k back and it's a c592r um, and it's just got a simple on off button with a wee happy face and a and a sad face um, if you can't find it and then there's a wee a wee light, so that's the, and then the other end is not only a breaker finder, but it's also a socket tester. Um, so you can, it'll tell you whether your connections are done correctly and whether there's anything transposed, or otherwise you just flick it across to breaker find, and it'll find your circuit breaker for you as well. So that's a that's a big bonus. Um, Right, so the Klein, we'll plug it in, turn it on, and you see the wee red light comes on there, that means it's uh, sending a signal. And now we'll head across to the switchboard, and we'll see if we can find it with the Klein. Right. A wee bit of a beep there. It's got a wee, a wee green arrow lights up when you've found the right one and it's going off again there. And sometimes it does take a wee while initially to find for it to settle down. Um, but it usually ends up quite accurate. Like sometimes it'll it'll pick up a main switch right off the bat and then eventually it'll come right. So now I see it's, it's found the right breaker there for me. I've flicked it off and we'll go and check it. And there we go. The wee light's gone out so we've found the right breaker so it's pretty accurate which is handy and now we'll try the K back so we've got it switched across into breaker finder otherwise we'll have no luck in socket test and we'll plug it in and once again a wee red light comes on that's sending the signal and we'll head across to our switchboard again with the breaker finder and We'll see how accurate the K back tester is. We red light, it's on, we sad faces lit up, and then it's picking up the main switch, which a lot of circuit breaker testers, finders, they quite often do that. So sometimes, like I said before, it takes a while for them to pick up the right thing. And so it's not picking up. We know that that breaker is the one, but it's not actually. Oh, yeah, there we go, it's just starting to pick it up now. And you'll notice now it's not picking up the main switch or anything else. And it's not picking up anything random. And it's missed it. There we go. It's settled down and it's picked the right breaker. We'll flip that off. We'll head back over to the plug. And there we go. She's switched off. So, comparing the two, um, the k back obviously has a pretty big advantage in that you can use this as a breaker finder and a socket tester, um, which makes it super handy. Um, I use this to go around and test plugs in new houses and things like that um, to make sure everything's connected properly and it just saves me so much time in testing. So. To be honest, I'd buy it just for this function. Um, the fact that it's also a breaker finder is a pretty big 
bonus, really. Um, I do find, though, that actually the Klein is the more reliable of the two breaker finders. Um, it's definitely more accurate. I've had a lot of false readings with the K-back, um, whereas the Klein you can rely on a lot more, I find. So as an actual breaker finder, the Klein is definitely my pick, but as a combo deal, definitely the K-back is a good choice, and as long as you take your time with it, you will find the right breaker. It's just a little bit more fiddly, but that socket testing function is a massive bonus, and I'd buy it just for that. Thanks for tuning in. Hit like, hit subscribe, and I'll keep the videos coming. Cheers.